Marisa, crafter for duct tape brand Duct Tape, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a duct tape necklace. Here's all you need to get started. Duct tape sheets, regular drinking straws or coffee stirrers, beads, string, and a way of cutting. You can either use a trimmer or you can use a ruler to mark out your beads and cut with scissors. Today I'm going to be using the trimmer. First, I recommend you cut off the first row of squares and save it for an extra project you're going to do another time. First thing you want to do is cut a strip by lining it up and cutting a triangular piece. Take your triangle and peel the paper backing off at the wider end. Lay your tape straight on to your straw and slowly rotate your straw as you peel back the paper backing. When you get to the end, you can use your finger just to finish it off like that. Then you're going to trim off the straw and you have a nice duct tape bead. Depending on the size of beads you want, you can use either thin, medium, or thick triangles. And you can wrap them around thick drinking straws or thin coffee stirrers. Play around with different sizes and see what kind of effects you can get. This is a great craft for people of all ages. It's much easier and more convenient than those rolled paper beads that you need glue and stuff. And you can even upcycle a straw that you find at a restaurant left over. You can get 14 medium sized beads out of a single sheet and you can try even more intricate designs once you master the basic technique. And that's how you make a duct tape necklace. For more great crafts or even to submit your own, visit ducttapeclub.com.